carry on. Okay. <laughs> um, my name is, wait, do you want me to start? I can introduce you if you want me to, or you can. You go ahead. Okay. <laughs> We have Danielle Gantar. <laughs> She's a current second year at the Alabama College of Osteopathic Medicine, but before moving to the South, she spent most of her time in California. She was born in Davis and completed her undergrad degree in biological sciences at um, UC Santa Barbara. During her two-year gap before med school, she lived and worked in Eight Tacos, my favorite, in San Diego, California. In her spare time, she enjoys any and all outdoor activities, but especially backpacking and skiing and hopes to one day hike the John Muir Trail. Okay, thank you for the introduction. Um, like they said, my name is Danielle Gantar. I'm an OMS2 at um, Alabama College of Osteopathic Medicine. Alabama College of Osteopathic Medicine, and I am the current SGA president. So today I wanted to talk to you guys just kind of about the theme of stop, drop, and run it back, which means stop what you're doing, drop what you're doing, and um, kind of just reflect. So um, recently at RCOM, we had received our core site rotation assignments, which at our school means that we learned where we would be going for our third and our fourth year. Um, at our comm, we all disperse into the surrounding areas to do rotations, just for a little context, if your comm does not do it like that. Anywho, um, it was a very exciting experience, and most students were really happy with what they saw when they opened their envelopes, overjoyed that they'd received their first choice or that they were being placed with their significant other. Um, but after this sort, short celebration in the morning, I kind of watched as every conversation sort of shifted focus. My peers and myself began to talk about where am I gonna live? Should I start looking for apartments and houses that might be for rent? When am I gonna move my things? Well, I guess that's gonna be depending on when I take my boards. Um, and so it was sort of this attitude of what's gonna come next. And we were in full planning mode and excited, but also overwhelmed. And I think as medical students, we do that a lot. We're constantly thinking about what's next. What's my next goal? What's my next accomplishment? What's my next project? And it's probably one of the traits that has allowed us to be so successful thus far, but it's also probably one that contributes to the burnout that we feel sometimes. Obviously, I'm not saying that we should just stop trying to progress because it is a necessity. But I think it's also important for us to stop and live in our happy moments for as long as possible. And when we do have to move on to the next thing, to take time to appreciate our previous happy moments. So part two of that same day, the course, core site rotation day, something else happened that forced me to do that and to appreciate my past happiness. Um, at the end of the day, I popped into our Dean's office for one thing or another, and I caught him in the middle of calling new, newly accepted students, and he asked if I wanted to listen in. So obviously I said yes, and he dialed up a girl from the state of Washington, I think, and she picked up the phone and he told her that our comm had reviewed her application and that we were very excited to inform her that she had been accepted to medical school. You could hear the emotion, the excitement, and like especially the relief in her voice. And I'm not kidding when I tell you that I was sitting there and I welled up just a little bit, just thinking back to the moment that I had almost two years ago, or I guess more than two years ago now. Um, and I realized that I actually hardly ever think about that moment, even though it was so monumental at the time. So with that in mind, if everyone could humor me and just take this second to pause and think about the moment that you first got accepted into medical school. How did it feel? Where were you? Who was the first, first person you called to tell? And how did you celebrate? So hopefully that brought back some positive memories. And in summation, I hope that this 
Power Talk encourages you to celebrate your wins for as long as you possibly can and to never forget to re reflect on your happiest moments and let them bring you happiness in the present. Thank you, that's my power talk. That was so awesome. Thank you so much for that.